Hello. This is a flip through of, it has a French title, Danseur des Quatre Coins du Monde. Now in English, that means dancers from the four corners of the world. I don't know whether this book is available in a English edition or not, but I will check, and if it's in English, those are the ones I will link you to down below on uh, Amazon, Canada, UK, and US. So, first of all, this is a Julia Rivers book back when they were called Okami books. They're very earliest books were called Okami books, and then it became Okami books, or Okami slash Julia Rivers, and then it became Julia Rivers. And at this moment, they haven't published a book since 2018, so don't know what's happening with them. So this is actually a beautiful book. I really like it, and I haven't, uh, haven't done anything in it yet. Uh, so it is Amazon printed paper and so it has all the qualities that we expect of that. This is a, uh, this isn't the lowest grade of paper. It's um, what I'm getting used to calling the next grade. So it's not the lowest but the second second grade of paper. Uh, it's becoming it's becoming more popular than the uh, basic grade. Basic grade is um, uh, uh, Jade Summers uh, Sunlight Drawing Sun Life Drawing Yes. <laughs> blew, blew a blank there for a minute of what it was called. So yeah, it's um it's white and the ink is black. The pages are not perforated, and these are illustrated on one side of the page. So this is the coolest thing ever when I found it. It is Zen Doodled Dancers. Now we all know how popular Zen Doodled Animals are, but this is the first time I have ever seen Zen Doodled people and collected in a theme of dancers. So we can see that they are either d uh, dressed in their ethnic uh, costume doing the traditional dances or they are um, doing a traditional dance. This is a ballet dancer here, standing on her toes. And these look like Indian dancers. And so the patterns are quite simple. There's uh, plenty of room in here. Your um, Probably a picture would take a combination between fine and ultra fine markers, and um, though a good portion of them are uh, small enough that you would need to use ultra fines for the whole thing. As I can see, some of them are more complicated than others. So this would uh, suit all levels of colorists from beginners upwards. If you enjoy uh, coloring people and you enjoy doing patterns and zen tangles, you'll definitely enjoy this book. There are no frames and there are no backgrounds. Oh, I missed a page. There we go. So that's, that's one thing that uh, is not the greatest for me. I like my pictures to have frames around them, and I do like to have a, uh, 
do like to have uh, pictures being part of a scene rather than just the people floating in the air on the page. But I must say with these type of designs, it's really, um, it's really all about the Zen tangling in these. So, um, the, when I color these pictures, I won't do anything for the background. I, I don't feel it would be needed. It's about the images here. And um, looking through here, I can tell that I'm going to have a lot of fun coloring in this one. And I think that when I am done doing this uh, flip through, that I am going to go put it over on my table of books that I'm currently coloring in because I need to rectify the situation of this not having anything colored in it. That's kind of sad. Yeah, and so I've looked through this book a couple of times and uh, the more and more I look at it, the more and more I really love it. Now if you've never Zen colored a Zentangle picture again, they're kind of like mandalas but in different but in different shapes so you would color one one little section and just uh, go maybe not around and around in a mandala but from front to side to side or you'll see that portions of it are mandalas so this this right here as a little mandala so you could color that in that way. You'll find a center point anyways on some of the some of the patterns. Mmm I like this. This is nice. I like this hair that's made out of uh, little spirals. Oh, that's definitely some kind of Asian. And then at the back of the book, there are, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they show other books that they make in French. And I have to say, I recognize most of them, but there are a few that I that I don't recognize, so I don't know if they're in, if they're in, um, English or not, some of them. <clears throat> I've seen this one. This is really cool. It's a whole bunch of yoga po poses that is done just like this dancer book. And these are some picture books that they made. And then that is the end of the book. A couple of examples on the back. And again, this book is called Danseur des Quatre Coins du Monde, which means Dancers at the Four Corners of the World, or Dancers from the Four Corners of the World. And that's the end of this flip. Thank you.